<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. The Tea Party hoping to build on its momentum from the midterm elections as it looks forward to 2012. You got a new website, and it's up for the challenge and already betting candidates for the future. Ned Ryan is the president of AmericanMajority.org, and he joins us now. Ned, do you think the Tea Party is revamping, retooling? Are they changing anything? Uh, yeah, no, they are. Uh, what, what the next evolution is in the Tea Party movement is moving from protesting to implementing and really becoming even more sophisticated politically. And what that's going to involve in 2011 and 2012 is going out and really working to identify and train candidates at all levels, state, local, even federal, so they can start running and building a national farm team uh, so they can go and implement policy. Because let's face it, those who win politically uh, are the ones that get to implement policy, so politics is policy. Mm -hmm. So they're becoming much more sophisticated politically. But Ned, doesn't that go against the actual tenets of what the Tea Party's all about? Because many of the members say they don't want to be an organized group. No, and, and here's the deal. This is what we're doing with American Majority and working with these local leaders. American Majority has done nearly 400 trainings over the last 18, 19 months. So we've had a lot of interaction with these local leaders, and they've wanted to go out and start identifying and training new leaders. What we're doing is emphasizing the local Tea Party leaders, because that's what the movement's about. No, I wouldn't say in any way uh, this is uh, centralizing of the movement. This is a, more, in many ways, about decentralizing the movement and empowering the local leaders to be even more effective. So what we're doing is coming alongside them. As they identify right. new candidates, we're going to train them. I remember Karl Rove came out and said, I thought Christine O'Donnell, he said essentially Christine O'Donnell was right on the issues, but as a candidate, she had no answers to the personal issues and really didn't exactly. have a good message and a problem with the witchcraft and angle the right. same thing, two vulnerable yeah. seats. So are you admitting that too? No, I would say, you know, I don't want the Tea Party movement to be colored by or uh, viewed through the lens of O'Donnell and Angle. Uh, I, I, I think they were flawed candidates. What we're hoping to do is find more credible candidates that can really communicate very effectively the free enterprise and individual freedom and fiscal responsibility. Ron Johnson out of Wisconsin being a great example. Right. I mean, he came out in February of 2010 to speak at a Tea Party and then ended up running for the U.S. Senate and is now a U.S. Senator. And beat a uh, longtime incumbent. But how, ex so, exactly. So how are you doing this, though? How are you well, looking at the grassroots level to find that person and train them? What we're doing is, is we have a newleadersproject.org, and we're, having, we're working to get 1,000 local groups to sign the pledge that they will identify 10 new leaders in their communities, primarily state and local, because what we're hoping to do is build a national farm team. There will be some congressional candidates that run in 2012 through this project, but working with the local leaders to identify those candidates, and then the American majority is going to come alongside and not only train candidates, but also train campaign managers. Uh, you mentioned the Angle campaign. If you read the Politico article last week, uh, it was very clear that, that that campaign was not managed very well. So we're mm. hoping to train campaign right. managers and also train activists to be effective volunteers. Well, then, Ryan, you make your point well. Uh, you're the right person to be the president of majority, uh, MajorityAmerica.org. Good job. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you.